One of President Putin's most prominent critics has been sentenced to 25 years in prison for treason in Russia. Vladimir Karamazov was also convicted of spreading false information about the Russian armed forces and cooperation with an undesirable organization. He played a key role in persuading Western governments to sanction Russian officials for human rights abuses and corruption. He has denied the charges and he has been vocally critical of this trial. Let's bring in the latest with our Russia editor, Steve Rosenberg. Vladimir Karamurza, who is one of the most prominent uh, Kremlin critics, he was arrested uh, just over a year ago. Mr. Karamurza uh, was instrumental in persuading Western governments to impose targeted sanctions on Russian officials for corruption and human rights violations. And that sparked a lot of anger in the corridors of power here. Towards the end of his trial, uh, Vladimir Karamurza uh, said that he is being tried for political reasons. He sees himself as a political prisoner and the case is widely viewed and condemned as politically motivated. Uh, he compared the proceedings to uh, a Stalin era show trial of the 1930s. There's been lots of condemnation of the sentencing from the US and the EU as well. Uh, they have called on Russia to immediately and unconditionally release all of those imprisoned for politically motivated charges. We've also heard from the UK summoning Russian ambassador to the Foreign Office in London. Uh, Vladimir Karamuza holds Russian and British passports. Let's speak now to Russian journalist Anastasia Karolenko, who joins me live in Paris. Anastasia is an independent investigative reporter and the co-producer of Putin and the Mafia, which is a great documentary. Anastasia, very good to see you. Thank you for joining us. What is your reaction to the sentencing, which we understand is the harshest yet for a Putin critic? Hi, uh, thank you for having me. Well, um, I'm of course shocked. Uh, Vladimir Karamurza himself, he uh, uh, tries to be optimistic. Uh, he said that uh, his self-esteem increased because of, of this uh, Stalin uh, era uh, resembling sentence. Uh, to me, I'm apathetic because I, I knew Vladimir Karamurza in person. I first uh, saw him um, in 2007. He already was a prominent opposition leader. He was organizing opposition rallies before even Navalny appeared. And he started uh, uh, indeed uh, persuading the Western government to sanction Russia, at least in 2010. It was around Magnitsky law um, adoption. Uh, now we, uh, well, most people know what is it. Uh, it is um, uh, a bill which allows uh, to sentence a corrupt official and not only in Russia. Uh, so Vladimir Karamurza started to, to work uh, with decision makers. Uh, he was a very dynamic speaker um, and uh, he, he didn't uh, hide anything. So he, he was very open about it. He, uh, he was relentless. Uh, he was saying on social media everywhere what he was doing uh, around sanctions and so everybody knew it and now uh, it appears it, it was a crime. Anastasia, you mentioned Alexei Navalny there, the jailed Russian opposition activist. He has a team who often put things on social media. We've just had some reaction from them on Twitter uh, saying that Mr. Navalny says Vladimir is being persecuted for political reasons. I'm very worried about his health, says the tweet. This is revenge exacted because he did not die after two poisoning attempts by FSB officers. Do you know how yeah. Vladimir's health is? How is he? Yeah, in uh, 2015, uh, when he was poisoned, he he had to learn to walk again. And his wife, uh, I suppose, said that uh, as soon as he started to, to walk with a cane, he <laughs> immediately walked in the direction of Moscow. So uh, because he was patriotic uh, of Russia, in, in, not in, uh, in propaganda uh, sense, of the world, but a, a true uh, patriot of Russia, he, uh, he he wanted uh, he he wanted to be in Russia. So in 2017, he was poisoned again. Um, back to uh, 2015, he was evacuated from Russia on a sanitary plane, uh, and uh, physicians were saying that he had only five percent chances to survive. 
So he survived. It was a miracle. I remember very well that we were taking his news, uh, his family's news, because he was uh, unconscious. Uh, we were taking the news uh, every hour, and uh, his father was still alive. We were together with uh, his father at Radio Liberty. Uh, he was very ups upset because Vladimir was dying, so he survived. Uh, as I said, it's already a miracle, and uh, you know many of his friends. Uh, I don't know from Navalny team, but also from uh, another opposition figures. For example, he worked with Mikhail Kadorkovsky's team. Um, many of them uh, were discouraging him from going to Moscow again. Um, and now uh, his lawyers uh, say that uh, his health condition um, is uh, is getting worse. And normally, uh, with uh, his diagnosis, it's not even possible to be in jail. So every prisoner who would, would not be political prisoner would have had been released, but uh, but not him. Thank you so much for joining us from Paris. Let's bring you more now with uh, the editor, the Russia editor of BBC Monitoring, Vitaly Shevchenko, who has told me that none of this is being reported on state media in Russia. If you look at state TV, it's not being reported at all because it's a very sensitive subject for Russia, especially for those in charge of the government in Russia. And the, the verdict is extremely important because it's the, the harshest sentence handed to an opposition figure in Vladimir Putin's um, Russia. This is what prosecutors requested. This is what they got. Now, Vladimir Karamurza is one of the most prominent and most important critics of the government. He um, survived two poisonings. Uh, it, it was um, really bad. He nearly died both times. And then he led this campaign to um, to impose um, sanctions on rights abusers in Russia. And um, he also um, had a few of his friends um, jailed or killed. For example, Boris Nemtsov, his personal friend, was shot dead outside the uh, Kremlin in 2015. So this is part of a trend uh, of human rights being eroded in Russia, where critics of the Kremlin are being jailed or worse. Vitaly, Western governments have been very quick to criticise this verdict, but Mr. Karamuza is uh, a Russian and British citizen. He has both passports. More specifically then, what has the reaction been from London? Well, this has been uh, criticised harshly from uh, officials in London uh, who have demanded his immediate release. Uh, Vladimir Karamurza is a UK citizen. He was educated in Cambridge. He, he, he spent um, a number of years living in the United States. And um, he, strictly speaking, he didn't have to come back to Russia, but he did last year, knowing full well what's uh, likely to happen to him, because shortly before returning to Russia, he, he gave a speech in the United States where he harshly criticized Vladimir Putin's war against Ukraine. And before uh, the verdict, Kramorza uh, compared the, his, his own trial to uh, what was happening in uh, Stalin's um, Soviet Union. So he knew what was going to happen to him and he returned to Russia to face the consequences. Well, Vitaly mentioned some of this, but there has been widespread criticism from across the Western world of the verdict. We've just been getting more from the US State Department, actually, who have condemned the sentencing of Vladimir Karamurza. Uh, and they have also specifically said that Russia's campaign of repression is unacceptable. So the US slamming Russia's campaign of rep repression uh, after he was sentenced and jailed.